In the 1928 Olympics, Uruguay came out of nowhere to win the gold medal in soccer with a bunch of players that the rest of the world had never heard of before. This led to the creation of the first World Cup, which Uruguay hosted and won. Since then, the World Cup has taken many forms and been held all over the world, but it's been played in its current format since 1998, with 32 teams qualifying from six regions, North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Oceania. Qualification isn't divided equally, it's weighted to deliver the best teams from across the globe. So, Europe gets 13 spots, South America gets 5, as does Africa, Asia gets 4, and North America gets 3. This year, Mexico and Uruguay got North and South America's extra spots by winning playoffs. Oceania doesn't get a direct spot and has to win a playoff to get in. Poor New Zealand, they got killed by Mexico. Oh, and the host qualifies automatically. Not that Brazil needed any help. The qualifying teams are separated into eight groups of four in a seeded draw, which prevents the top sides from ending up in the same groups. When the draw puts three or more strong teams in one group, fans call that the group of death. That's the USA this year. <laughs> The World Cup begins with group play with each team playing the other three teams in its group. Teams play each other once and get three points for a win, one for a tie, and none for a loss. The top two teams from each group advance to the round of 16, the knockout stage. From there, it's single elimination until we have a champion. Spain are the defending champions and could challenge again, but they're not expected to repeat. Brazil are the favorites at home and will lean on star attacker Neymar to guide them to a sixth World Cup championship. Neymar's club teammate Lionel Messi plays for Argentina, another favorite but this is a stacked and wide open field, so don't be surprised if someone else is contesting the final. It's the World Cup. Anything can happen.